double dispatch is a pattern that allows you to control the communication between two objects. I'm going to use an example of removing a line item from an order where we are going to introduce a new business rule that we are going to enforce by using double dispatch. We're looking at the command handler for removing a line item from an order. The implementation in the handle method is straightforward. We are fetching the order along with the line item that is going to be removed in one call to the database through the order repository. We check if the order is null. In case it is, we just return from the handle method. And if it is not null, we call the remove line item method on the order. We pass it the line item ID that we want to remove. And if all goes well, we just persist the changes by calling unit of work save changes async. Now I want to introduce a new business rule that you can only remove a line item if the order has more than one line item. Now let's try to do a simple implementation of this. I'm going to head over to the order repository and I'm going to define a new method that is going to check if the order has, let's say, one line item. So I'm going to make it synchronous and let's say has one line item. For the argument, we can pass the order ID, but I'm going to pass the entire order object and then I'm going to decide how I'm going to implement this method in the order repository implementation. Now, if I head back to my remove line item command handler, let's apply the check that the order has a single line item right before we call remove line item. So we're going to say if the order repository has one line item, then we want to return and we don't want to call the remove line item method because we don't want to allow removing of line items when the order has just a single line item. This is to enforce the business rule that an order has to always have at least one line item on it. Let's also implement the has one line item method in the order repository before we discuss why this design is slightly problematic. I'm going to write a query that is going to check that this order has exactly one line item. So we can say context line items count. We need to specify a condition that the line items order ID is matching the order ID and we have to check if this is equal to one. The query is pretty straightforward, but let's put our focus back on our command handler where I want to show you something. The problem here is that you have to know that you need to call this method first to check if there's only one line item before you are allowed to call remove line item. We are introducing coupling between these two method calls and we are making the remove line item call dependent on the order repository has one line item check. And this is problematic because it's easy to forget that you need to apply this check before you can remove a line item. This is where the double dispatch pattern comes in and let's see how we can use it to solve this problem. So I'm going to head over to the remove line item method and let's check out what we have inside. What we are doing here is fetching the line item based on the line item ID. If the line item is null, we're just returning from this method. If it is not null, we remove it from the list of line items and we raise an appropriate line item remove domain event. Now, I'm going to expand the list of arguments here to also accept an iOrder repository instance. And now what I can do is I can move the check if the order has a single line item into the remove line item method. So I can say if order repository has one line item and which order instance should we pass in? We're going to pass the current object instance by calling this and this is exactly what the double dispatch pattern is in practice. And in case this evaluates to true, we're going to return from this method. We are calling the remove line item method on the order instance. And then we are calling the order repository, which is another object. And we are calling the has one line item method. And we are again passing the current object instance. The order repository can now decide what it needs to do with this object instance 
to fulfill this method. This is pretty much what double dispatch is. And the benefit here is that now we have the check if an order has a single line item together with all of the logic for removing a line item in one place. This makes it safe to always call the remove line item method granted you provide an instance of the order repository interface. If we head back to the remove line item command handler, we can get rid of this check here entirely because we moved all of that logic inside of the remove line item method. So now I just need to pass in an order repository instance to satisfy the method signature. Let's try to send a delete request from Postman to our API, which is going to call the remove line item command handler. And let's see how double dispatch looks like in practice. So I'm going to send the delete request to the API and I hit the breakpoint inside of the remove line item command handler. This is going to fetch the order together with a single line item, which is the line item that we are trying to remove. If I check out the orders line items property, you'll see there's only one line item present. Now, this doesn't mean that there is only a single line item in the database. This is a check that we'll apply later. We are doing this for performance reasons because we don't want to load all of the line items from the database. We want to load only the minimal amount of information necessary in order to be able to perform this business operation. So we check if the order is null and it isn't. And let's move into the remove line item method. Here we come to the double dispatch, which is going to call the order repository and pass the current order instance to determine if the order has one line item. So if I step into the order repository, you can see that this is the current order instance. We're going to query the database to count the line items for this order and see if that is equal to one. Now, this is going to evaluate to false because there is more than one line item, which means it's now safe to proceed to remove this line item from the list of line items on the order. You can see the line items remove call completes and we raise the line item remove domain event. Now, if I go back to my command handler, I can call the unit of work and persist these changes in the database. I'm going to send another delete request to our API and this time the order only has one line item and let's see what's going to happen. So we fetch the order the same as before and let's head into the remove line item method. Now this call to has one line item is going to evaluate to true because the order only has one line item and you can see that we're going to return from this method. Alternatively, we could throw some sort of exception or return a failure result just to notify the caller that the line item wasn't removed or in this case that the business rule was broken. So the call to save changes here is not going to do anything because there aren't any changes applied. You can see how the double dispatch approach is very useful to move all of the business logic into the domain layer directly. Now there is no way to forget that you need to first call the has one line item method to check the business rule before you are allowed to remove the line item. Another great thing here is that everything that we need to test for the flow for removing a line item is now in one place. So you can check that your business rule is enforced. You can check that the line item is properly removed and you can also check that the domain event is correctly raised. Double dispatch isn't strictly a domain driven design pattern, but it's very useful for designing a rich domain model. If you enjoyed this video about the double dispatch pattern, make sure to smash that like button and definitely take a look at this video here. And until next time, stay awesome.